Sunglasses? Do you like your sunglasses, buddy? Look, there's a tractor. So we're gonna meet all the cows. Meeting the cows. So this is all the little baby cows. You can pet it. <laughs> pet the cow. Aww. It's really cute. Here, Ava, come here. Come here. You wanna pet the cow? Here, come on. You're fine. You want me to pet the cow? Kind of coarse. Wow, he, uh oh, he just knees. Oh no. Here, come here. This one's friendly. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's, it's totally a good kill. Thing for animals. And not too much, no. Okay, so this area here is the waiting area for those cows that need to get milked. Uh, so, like I said, you know, some poles right there in the finger gates. It's a one way gate. They can come in here, but they can't get back through. The only way to get out of this area is to go in the robot, get milked. And then there's a, a cement way right there. You can see in between that a cement. It's like a little alley through there. The cow has to go through there to get out. Once she goes through there, there's a sword gate right at the end. And she'll get that sword gate, and if she's been real, it will flip and run around for the rest of the cows. If she hasn't been real, that gate will flip and we'll put her back into here until she goes to the robot to get real. If she's in feet, it needs bread and we'll flip and we'll put it into this area, which is our breeding area and special needs area, that little section on both sides. So it kind of depends on what they're needing at and where they're directed, and it's all based on the map responder on the neck as to where it's going to direct. I think she's saying hi to you with it. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so she's there and she's saying that her number is. 76. Oh, there we go. And, and the, the, the local cars is using that technology to attack the cow. That is interesting. Um, okay, Kevin, Kevin, look at this. Because here's the, here's the robot right there. That's how it sucks up to it. Okay. Interesting. What's that? Oh, that's cool. I was, I was wondering how it knew how to, you know, line up properly. Yeah, it's did that one attach already? It's yeah, on. yeah, yeah. So it's on. And see, while it's doing that green light, that flashing, that's doing a cleaning process on the cow. Once we have the iodine dip on, it strips that out and it dumps that down the drain here. And then, Learn something new every day. Wait, hold on. What? So each what one of these tubes. Uh, what's that? Like yeah, oh, I didn't hear that part. Anyway, um, no, no, it's just like it's cause, so it's just like udders, and it's just pulling on the udders and having the milk come out. It actually helps them because it depressurizes their their uh, stomachs. True. They're not stomachs, but the flu the the milk that's filled in there. That cow over there is not stomach. Yeah. That's really cool. Isn't this interesting? It is really interesting. It's also very smelly. Yeah, that's true. Oh, they're coming off now. I wonder if that one's done. There we go. That is you know it's going to line back up. Mean? It means it's not a line here. Okay. There we go. So I guess no more uh, actually hand milking them. Yes, no. All the we were going to get some hands-on experience. <laughs> Oh, here's my mother. Oh, okay. It's like two pounds of milk. Wow. Eight pounds of milk. Yeah, that's crazy. You should, you should take a sample from one of those houses. Go, raw milk. Yummy. Yeah. So does that mean it's 34% done? Yes. Or 34% done? I think, I think, yeah. Oh, there we go. See this top number? It, it projects how much milk that cow's going to give. So it automatically figures out, based on her production history and 
And when she was last in the robot, how much milk that she's gonna give? And then, and then it's usually actually pretty close on projecting that amount. Oh. And see, and then it updates her milk as she's in there. Um, and I can look on here on on this cow and look at like each T, like the conductivity, which is how good the milk is, uh, her milk flow, her temperature, all these different things. Wow. And uh, and then it puts you in the computer system where I can analyze it later and evaluate each cow. I hope so. <laughs> um, and see, they're, they're giving Otherwise it you better wash your also, shoes off. It's automatically calculated based on when they're last in the robot and how much pellet to give them. And, uh, and like this cow, if I want to see her details, I can see that she's had two calves. We've been milking her for 366 days. That's when the calf last. And we're going to dry her up here, actually in a week. We're going to dry her up because she's going to calve in two months. So we'll move her out on the pastures after that. That looks like she is almost done. Something I like, I think it's interesting is if I look on the box details, it shows me the, the cow's numbers and the times they came in the box and the percentage of milk they gave and the pounds. And if I look back, say if I look back during the middle of the night, we got 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock. They're coming in all hours of the day and nobody's here to bring them in the robots. They just come in when they That's want. That's cool. Cool. And she's done. Wait, how much? So she, she's given more than what she was expected. You see the color change, so that's done. Puts the, eye, the dip on and then she's going to exit out. There's all the milking cows. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of cows. Here's the milk tank. All the cows. Five thousand gallons, and it's thirty-eight degrees. Yeah, yeah. This is considered an elevated barn. Uh, so the worker would be here where I'm at, down in the pit, and the cows were just standing where you guys were standing on each side. And they come in that door. They come in that door. There would be six cows there. These are the milkers. The workers would prep the cows first, and they put the milkers on. And then they would, when they're done, they, they post up and they'd exit out through the doors. Here in this barn, they didn't have to bend up in the cows, so they weren't breaking their back and knees. See, it in here. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, it's fun to see the technology from the old days doing it by hand. You know, that takes a lot of work to milk a cow out by hand. And versus a flat barn like mine to an elevated barn like this to robotic milking that they have now. So that's how it's changed over the years and how it's gotten better and more efficient and profitable. There we go, say Is moo. That? No one's saying moo over here. Moo. moo. We, lost we lost our cow, no cow anymore. Yeah. Oh, punch you. Right, hey, be a cow. Can you please be a cow and do a cute little moo? No, no, any pink one is a baby one. So these ones are still on the bottle. See how skinny it is? Uh -huh. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. <laughs> here, you can walk over here. I probably should have worn sneakers today. You want to move? Yeah, meow. Meow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh that is a big one over there. Okay, should we go, let's go back towards the wagon. Okay. Here, let's go this way. Here we go. Here are little cows. Oh, that's a big mama cow. This one's afraid. Okay, watch where you're stepping. He's scared, hold on. So they lick your fingers, they won't bite you. They're friendly cows. Look He's at the eyelashes teeth. though on this one. Yeah. Can tell you're in Utah, look at those eyelashes. They said he won't bite you, but like, <laughs> he's got teeth, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Wait, come on. <laughs> like, hey guys, do you want you're to the first do you one. Want to your thumb? Look, guys, come here. Come <laughs> oh, her. her. Okay. We don't know. The eyelashes on this one though, it's insane. Hey, can I get a picture? Yeah, I'll get a picture. Because it gets cold here, and then this is a heat exchange. It'll bring in air from outside, 
you blow through here and kind of circulate the air through the zone heat heats up the building and uh, and then it kind of pulls the air out there circulates it Mom, and then in the summertime well, it's hot with a towel and it's that all towel? Yeah. Uh, it, it, it's, it's a big towel environment to make it comfortable for the cows uh, around their necks there's a number and a response